In this video, I'm going to show you how to create lead capture landing pages with WordPress and Beaver Builder, and I'm going to show you how to do it, I hope, in about 8 to 10 minutes from beginning to end. Uh, hello, I'm Alan McNabb with Image Building Media, and for this tutorial, I'm going to use Expert Realty Marketing. This is our website for our real estate marketing division. And uh, let's just jump in here really quickly. First of all, I'm already logged into WordPress. You see that we have Beaver Builder here. We provide to our clients Beaver Builder Pro, which is uh, a premium add-on. Uh, with that also, Beaver Themer and some other premium add-ons to make this really easy. So I'm going to click Beaver Builder and uh, I'm going to then click and duplicate the layout, and that's going to basically make a copy. I'm going to take this copy, I'm going to launch Beaver Builder, and now we're good to go. I want to click the plus mark, and this opens up all of these options. Now, if I wanted to just um, add some sections uh, to this existing page, I could click rows, and then I could come down here to pre-built rows, also to all of these templates here uh, for all of these rows, but I'm going to create a new page. I'm going to click on templates here. Now, we've got a lot of templates. All totaled, it's got to be over 300. So, we've got uh, landing pages here. We've got content pages. The list goes on and on and on and on. We've got micro pages. We have the premium add-on of Power Pack, and there's free templates, and there's also the premium templates. So let's just scroll down through here. Let's uh, see if we can find something that we can use just for this tutorial. And let's use the car loan template. And it doesn't, you don't have to be doing cars or loans or car loans. It's, it's just something to get started with because you're going to change all the content here. So I'm going to click on this. Now, we can replace the existing layout, which I don't want to do because I'm going to use some of the components of this page uh, with this new landing page. So I'm going to append. So it's going to put it at the bottom. And I'll scroll down here really quickly and let you see. There it is. All right, back up. So now I'm going to begin removing sections that I do not want to use for this lead generating uh, landing page. And basically, these are a lot of the components of the home page that I don't want to be here. Now, the uh, Google reviews, they are always good for a landing page. So I'm going to just take them. I'm just going to uh, drag them to the bottom. And I'm going to let them stay right there. All right, going to go back up to the top. Now, here's a call to action section. I'm going to keep this. I could change it or I could just leave it as is. And I'm going to put that right there. All right, now I've still got my header as I had before. I need to decide which one of these I want to use. I'm going to, I'm going to keep the top one and remove the second one. All right, now I just need to start changing the things here. And just click on it, change your text, and when you're done, click Save. Again, for all of this, click it, change it, save, cancel, whatever you want to do. Same thing with the button. This is what the button says. You can, you can say, buy now, whatever you want to say. Totally up to you. Put your link here or look for a page that's already on the website and you save. Uh, you can also change the colors. You want to change the colors, uh, you can just um, come right down here, change the colors. Everything is changeable. So here is a lead gen quote, uh, excuse me, uh, form. And so um, when someone fills this out, we're going to select where that email is to be sent. We can go down through here. We can change all of these options. We can change the button. We've got the recapture information. And we've got the thank you message. All of this can be changed. So make sure after you're done, you check that, that everything works correctly. All right, so we've got this section, schedule a demo. I'm going to leave that just exactly as it is. Um, you could change it to be whatever you want it to be. Now, all of these sections, they're changeable. Just click, make it whatever you want, and save it or cancel it. 
uh, the little icons. You can change them as well. You can remove them, add new ones, not have any icons, totally up to you. The backgrounds, whether it's this one or it's this one, you can change that. I'm going to come up here to the little wrench. I'm going to go to row settings. I'm going to go down to uh, the background. I'm going to remove this photo. I'm going to select a photo. Now this is WordPress, works exactly like WordPress. You've got your media library. You can choose an existing one or you can select a new image and you can just put it right in there. You can add your title and your alt text, alt text which uh, you should do for um, ADA compliance. And by the way, uh, the platform we provide to our customers also includes uh, software to help with ADA compliance. All right, so I'm just going to select that image. You see it there. I'm going to say save, and it's uh, not, not a good image for what we're doing. I want to show you another little trick here also. As a matter of fact, let me go on and I'm going to edit this. Let's pick out a uh, let's pick out a different different image. Let's select that. And the other thing I want to show you how to do is uh, you can come down here to overlay. We're going to overlay with a color full. We're going to say choose a dark. Remove some opacity. And we're going to save that. All of that can be done right there. So now you can see the text just a little bit better. So experiment around with that just a little bit. Okay, so you can change those background images, the FAQs here. You can click. You can add more FAQs and item. You can X and remove FAQs. You can click and change these X FAQs to be uh, your very own. And you've got the options here to deal with that. Same thing we've got with the button and the information here. The Google Reviews, by the way, it's an app that we have that's bringing in the reviews, so you can't change that. However, you can come up here and you can change the headline right there. Okay, so we're done. We click Done, we click Publish, and that's it. We've got our landing page. Again, test it out. Make sure everything works the way you want to, to work. You can come in, make changes, and... You're good to go. And as a matter of fact, we're under eight minutes. So that's how you, you create a lead generation landing page with WordPress and Beaver Builder. Thanks for joining me for this tutorial, and I look forward to you joining me again soon.